This is the Moment Maker. It's a Fujifilm S2700. It will capture shots that you never thought you could catch. The one of the ways that it can do it is by using the continuous mode button that's right here on the top. When you press that, all you have to do is decide how fast you want it to take the pictures and how many you want it to take. The camera will then select the correct resolution for you and you will get those special shots. I'm going to show you some pictures that I took this afternoon. If you are at the baseball game and you want to catch your son's home run, this is a mode you would use. If you are at your daughter's dance class and you want to catch her pirouette, you could use this. If you're doing a baseball game, basketball, any type of fun activity and you want to catch the momentary shots, this is a mode you will use. I would never have been able to catch the shot of this butterfly if I hadn't had help with the continuous mode. I'm going to show you some pictures that I have taken printed from these shots. This is the one set I managed to catch the butterfly opening its wings fully open and beginning to close them again. And in this shot, it's actually closing his wings. Um, the cool thing I want to show you on this is this picture, this picture, and this picture. This shot was taken at 20 frames a second. So that means that these three shots were taken at one third of a second. And I got the butterfly there leaving and no butterfly anymore. Only the Fujifilm in continuous mode could catch that shot for me. The other mode that I particularly like is the mode that is found on your uh, scene programmed mode. It is called it's, it's called zoom bracketing. And when you turn the camera to zoom bracketing and you choose to take a picture, you actually get three pictures with one click, each one just a little bit closer. The reason I like that is people do not realize how important it is to move in on their subject. If you want a picture of your daughter in the sandbox, you don't want a picture of the cars going by in the street behind her and other activities. You want the picture of the daughter. By setting her to zoom bracketing, you can get a close-up shot that you may not have realized you really needed. Now, I brought my dog, Gorilla, here because he's going to help me take a shot, and I'll show you how much better it looks if you use zoom bracketing. So I'm taking my first shot, and I think he looks pretty good, and he's certainly got that neat expression on his face. Easy fellow. That's it. Excellent. Now it is storing three shots for me. Each one just a little bit closer. And I'm going to show you these shots. This is a shot that I took. I thought it was a good shot. And it certainly is nice, but Gorilla doesn't look very much like a gorilla. So, the next shot the camera took got me just a little bit closer and the picture's looking a lot better and then the third one I can really see Gorilla's expression catch that fierceness in his eyes this is a much better shot than the other shots and it makes a tremendous image for me to keep and to put into my photo album book this is an excellent camera for all the wonderful features it does. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.